trees. Hello there. The 1st of February. Can you believe it? What, tomorrow is the Gold Groundhog's Day? Isn't that the 2nd of February? How did that even start? How? I don't even understand that. But that old Punxsutawney Phil is quite the celebrity, apparently. I want to thank all you guys who went to check out my cousin and left him comments and subscribed to him. That was very sweet. Uh, you know, he he was sick a lot growing up. He never could go to school um, because he was so susceptible to getting sick. So he was homeschooled. So, you know, this is a kind of a nice social network for him to get into. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah. Hopefully when the weather breaks, you might see us cross streams. Maybe I'll be in one of his videos sometime. Maybe he'll be in one of mine. He's been in my videos before. So I think the last time I had him on film was when they had the benefit for them before his last surgery. Um, yeah. Today, like I said, is Saturday, the 1st of February. I'm getting ready to do some work. I'm going to get my billing out. Do the first like half of the month's billing which this time of year doesn't take a whole long time. Yesterday, I got my employees thing straightened out. What time was I on here yesterday? Was it before or after I talked to my accountant? I don't know, but we got a new W-2, and he's been instructed to throw the old one away. I have a post-it note. I wrote my accountant's phone number on there for him, so because he needs somebody to do his taxes. He could easily do them himself, but because I did my own taxes up until I owned the business, because I only ever had like a one, I only ever had one income. So, but once I, um, once we started the business, we got an accountant because I ain't playing with the government with a business. So yeah, um. I just got done playing in the kitchen. I got up and took a shower, got dressed. Rocking the tie-dye today. I haven't had tie-dye on in a while. And uh, so I'm like, I'm going to rock a tie-dye today. So I got this one on and uh, went and played with in the kitchen. And I took this with me. Took some clips. I made the guacamole. Came out good. We have some left. Put it in an airtight container and... Hopefully it won't turn um, ugly colored. Maybe the top will. I did put lime juice in it, so hopefully the sip, that acid will keep it from changing. We'll probably have some later on tonight. And um, Kitty, Kitty Humphreys, hey, what is your problem? See, she has no problem with the door unless it's closed. And if she's on that side, she wants on this side. She's on this side. Here, here. Come here. I'll give you a couple more treats. Go get them. You left some on the bed. Apparently you don't want them. Here, I'll pet you. Let me pet you. I want to get her. I want to get her held down and brush out, brush out around her neck, but she hates it. I just pick up the comb and she runs because she knows what it is. And uh, I have to like grab the nape of her neck and. Then she'll kind of calm down, like, oh, mom's got me, I better not do anything. And try to brush her out real fast, but she, she's not a fan. Um, and Heidi's on the other side of the door, because she just heard this treat bag, and now she knows there's treats in here. So she's hiding, she's whining on the other side of my door. This bag, my treat bag, Heidi will hear this and think I'm getting out treats, and she'll come running. This is really good. I guess Dad said this, this big bag was like $5 at, um, at the Aldi, it's... Um, a one pound ten ounces. It is. It's really good. I'll take a handful out and put it next to my desk while I'm on my next to my keyboard while I'm doing stuff. I like it. Uh, so I made my guacamole. I made my broccoli rice cheese casserole. It does not taste like the one my aunt makes. It was lacking something. I I used the recipe I found online. It just it seemed very blah. And so when I go out for Easter, I'm going to write down how she makes it. Um, so 
I was very disappointed how that came out. But it is what it is. Um, and I made the chili cheese dip good. And uh, Dad made sloppy joes. So, yeah. We just had a nice dinner. Early dinner. It's four now. So, we'll have leftovers for later. And then, or tomorrow. And then tomorrow night, pizza. We'll see how that goes. I'm sure lots of pizza places are going to be busy tomorrow. Yeah. I bet you Subway will be busy tomorrow, too. So now I'm just going to start doing some work. Oh, there was a story. Okay, I had to look at my list. There was a story I want to tell. I was chatting with someone on Yahoo Messenger one day, and, and I was talking about, like, when I used to go to the joke shop or the... And, and by like hmm like cause dad and I you know we can be evil I used to like buy, buying these sulfur liquid stink bombs and one time I bought like hard candies that taste really good till you get to the middle it was like hot mustard come here wait until I'm done then I'll open the door come here and uh he used to take them to work when he was a machinist and he would put the bowl of candy at his machine and just not eat it and let pet people take it. He never knew who took it, but it would gradually disappear. So, so, uh, yeah, but these liquid sulfur stink bombs came in a little vial and, um, oh, I wonder, I might have told this story ages ago, but, um, when we were teenagers, probably 18, 19, me and my friend Nikki, her mom worked at Pizza Hut, which is right up the road from my house. And her mom, neither of her parents ever drove, so she chauffeured them uh, around a lot. And one night, her mom was getting off at, like, in the evening, it was dark. It was like she was getting off at 9 or 10 or something like that. And uh, we got up there a little bit early, and we backed into the one side, and you could see in where people were eating. And Nikki, I'd given her one of these. Well, we both went in. And uh, we went in and used the restroom. And in the in the restroom on the floor is one of those drains, like where the toilets are. So I guess in case they overflow, it goes down a drain. Well, we <laughs> we took the little sulfur stink bomb and put it on top of. We snapped it, like broke it on that grate, and um, we went out to the car and waited because her mom had about 15 minutes before she got off work, and we were watching the people in the restaurant and I know this is really horrible thing to do and after a while you could see them all going and we waited for her mom to come out and she didn't come out and didn't come out and didn't come out and finally she came out like 15 or 20 minutes after she was supposed to have gotten off work and um, apparently they thought the sewer was backing up and so it was all a big um, they were trying to figure it out in the restaurant. And Nikki and I just started busting up. She's like, what? We're like, it's not the sewer. Nothing's wrong in there. She's like, what do you mean? And we couldn't stop laughing. You know, we were like 18, 19 years old. And she's like, what did you do? <laughs> and we're like, well, we kind of set a stink bomb off in the bathroom. Oh, God, we laughed about that. And then my dad would take them to work. And, uh about five minutes for everybody got off work he would go up by the time clock because everybody has to go through the time clock line there and he would snap one right by the time clock and then by the time everybody got off work it smelled really bad <laughs> we're evil people in our family and then I was thinking I'm like I wonder if they still make those <laughs> they are quite fun and they smell like rotten eggs they smell horrible they do it's this ugly oh, sulfur ugh but they do the trick, I have to say. Um, so yeah, some of my evil doings in the past. I hear the humper. Hey, Dad? Come here. Are you coming? I haven't come to say hi. He was there a second ago. He was right outside the door. Gone. 
What's going on? Apparently was checking the temperature in the house. Our uh, furnace, our thermostat's in the hallway. And you always have to click the light on to see it because it's kind of a dark hallway. So I guess no humper. I think he's taking Heidi out. Oh, he's in the bathroom. Maybe he will come in here and say hi. Come here! Come here! Come here! Open the door! Come and say hi! Oh, okay. He's wearing a new shirt today. There's the humper. Who's here? Everybody's here. It's the humper. What's tomorrow? Tomorrow is Super Super Bowl Day. And who do you want to win? For uh, Broncos. Why? Because Peyton Manning's playing. Yeah, that's the only reason why. He's my hero. Yeah. Who do you want to win? The Broncos, probably Broncos. Yeah. I really don't care. <laughs> Honestly. I'm not even on a Super Bowl board, so I can't even win. You know, I ain't either. The first time, wow, last year we never either, did we? Uh, no, Paul never had I one I don't think we did, no. Usually every year we get on football boards. But, but not this year. I haven't been on a football board in a long time. Dad I used to run them a lot. I used to run a lot of them. When he worked? worked yeah, he was the guy. But now we don't. Heidi's down there eating treats. Uh -huh. Heidi's getting all furry. Yeah, she's looking bad. I know, but I don't want to get her all. She's all. I don't want to get tired. her. I don't want to get her groomed and cut short until this really cold spell is gone, because then she'd be really, really cold. <sighs> yeah, I know it. I put a picture of her on Instagram today with the cat, and someone said she's starting to look like a porcupine. <laughs> I guess she does look a little bit like a porcupine. <laughs> yeah, her hair. He's like her sister. No, her, her mom and dad had beautiful hair. It was silky and laid and flowed. Heidi has never had beautiful long hair. Just her ears. Her ears are pretty. Other than that... She's a beautiful dog. She can be bitchy, though. Come up here, Daddy. What? What do you want? You just ate the cat's treats that she didn't eat. <laughs> but that's about all we're doing today. I was telling them I made guacamole. She made homemade guacamole. It was real good. And yeah. uh, I made sloppy joes. They were real good. I told them my broccoli and rice cheese casserole was not real good. Broccoli never had much taste to it. It was very bland. Bland. And she made some uh, dip with, you know, chili cheese, dip. cheese and chili. It was good. That's always... A lot of people make that. Yeah. And uh, so tomorrow, we're going to order a pizza. Yeah. You can order the kind you want, and I'm going to order the kind I want. I'm going to order a Heartburn Special. I'm going to order a taco pizza. Because I haven't had one in forever. Me and Mom used to get those. Yeah. I haven't had one in a long time. I'll probably that's, just get a that's small That's going to be our Super Bowl treat. Yeah. That's we it. ain't going nowhere today because it's snowing. Snowing. Yeah, it's ugly outside. It's been snowing, snowing. all day. All day. Because when I went in the kitchen at like 12, 31 o'clock, yeah, it was about 1 o'clock. But tomorrow's supposed to be sunny. You never know when and you're Tuesday dead. is supposed to be sunny. What happened to Monday? You missed Monday. Uh, Monday, I mean. No, Monday. Sunday and Monday is supposed to be nice. Monday, he's got to take a road trip. If the roads are good. Yes. Him and his boyfriend have to go get a car, a Jeep. Up by Wisconsin. Wisconsin. And he hates that. Why? Chicago. Yeah, he hates driving to Chicago. <laughs> you got to go right through the city? Basically, yes. Oh. Right out by O'Hare Airport, out that way. Oh, yeah, I've been out that way. You go right by the O'Hare. Well, that's where they have that there uh, uh, medieval thing you used to go yeah, to. Yeah, i never been to it. Oh, I, I thought you did with a club or something. Nope, never went to it. Well, we go by that thing, too. Medieval times. Yeah. I've driven by it before. Yeah. But never been there. So we'll just see what happens. We'll go by the weather this time of year, but uh, Groundhog's Day is tomorrow. And I was talking about that earlier. How did that even start? Has there always been a Groundhog's Day as long as you can remember? And the robins are here already. I see a big flock of robins, a couple big flocks of robins here already in the snow. I told them you even see them bald eagles, the too. bald eagles down the river. But I've not seen them, so I'm not saying they exist yet until I see them with my own eyes. Yeah. He's crazy and old. He could just be seeing things. Now, they had an article in the paper today, and uh, my uh, uh, 
Michigan, Michigan Outdoor News about them being spotted down here in the open water. Oh. Even yeah. where there's open water because everything froze down here now, so the eagles like fish, so they got to be by open water on the river. Yep. Okay. I'll see you people. I'm going to say goodbye nice to you. Nice talking to you. Bye. Bye-bye.